If my mom would sub next week, I'd give her the advice to be patient with the kids and don't get frustrated so easily. I think if it's a small situation such as, you know, you're acting up a little bit, I think it's appropriate for the sub to take it in their own hands. They could give you a warning or they could do something as big as you're not allowed to talk anymore. It's really just it's dependent on the subs, but I think the students appreciate it a lot more whenever they just give you a warning, say, hey, you're acting up, uh, please just calm down a little bit. A good way to get kids' attention is to clap their hands. Some general advice that I would give a sub would be just to relax a little bit. I think it would be better for the sub to tell the kids what to do instead of what not to. I don't know. Kids, they like to be respected. If you respect them, they'll respect you right back. It's not that big of a hassle. Teens aren't as complicated as old people make it seem. I would say just be funny like you are. To keep the students engaged and be funny but still teach and to just be funny but still teach the kids. I hope they understand that that's, that some people work different and uh, like to socialize while they're working and stuff like that. I think I would be a fun sub because I would let the kids work in groups and like let them have a break once in a while. But when it's time to go back to work, it I let them go back to work in the group. One of my parents or relatives were coming to the school to sub, I would say you just gotta be patient, especially with middle schoolers. They're gonna like act all crazy and foolish. If I had to give my mom advice, um, if she was gonna become a sub the first day, I'd probably tell her to just try to understand kids and get along with them as easy as possible. Now what makes an awesome sub is whenever they have bright personalities. And what I mean by that is that they're funny, they're likable, you know, they're very easy to talk to, you know, like I said, they're not stressed or, you know, or uptight or, you know, strict anything, you know, they're kind of loosey in a way. They're still, you know, they're still in charge and things like that, but, you know, they're not trying to look for something to nitpick at. Advice that I would give to a sub would probably be to not yell at any kid. I think a sub should never do is when the kid is bad, I don't think they, the sub should grab the student by his arm and take them outside. Something that a sub should never do is yell at a kid. Well, I'd probably say don't yell and be really rude to the kids because they're gonna um, be kind of scared of you and they're not really gonna enjoy learning in that classroom. Uh, do, do not try to be a strict teacher. Because the minute you say, hey, you know, stop talking, you know, hey, and, you know, in such an assertive voice, Im immediately they're turned off. Immediately they're like, I don't like you, you know, this is not your, you know, this is not your classroom, and you're not my teacher. If I'm used to being able to, like, hang out a little bit and do work at the same time, like, how the teacher, the normal teacher does it, and then you just come and make the class be totally opposite, that, that really irritates me, because that's how I expect that class to be, and it's a big change. The best sub I've ever had is when they let us work together in a group. We had this one sub, and it was just, he was kind of like a bubbly type of guy, and he would, uh, we were doing a test, and it was just like the most random thing, but it was so funny. He's like, okay, we're going into Pennsylvania, so you need your pencils. So I thought the, the entire class is just funny. We all thought that was funny, and that's like a joke running around in our class. So I think that sub definitely left a positive impact on the class. To gain my respect, I would just want the substitute to maybe like, maybe like, take me outside or something like that. Be like, you know, hey, can, you know, can, can I talk to you real quick? You know, I come outside and then she'll have like a one-on-one -on -one kind of conversation. Like, you know, so like, you know, why are you doing this? You know, I'm just, you know, let's work together. You know, let's work with each other. You know, I'm not trying to be boss or anything. You know, I just, you know, kind of work with me today. Please, you know, be some, you know, have somewhat of that, you know, respect. I once had a sub that acted like my teacher, probably because they knew my teacher well, but uh, they, uh, so it was like a normal class and they knew exactly what to do because they probably read over what to do like a, like a bunch of times. Like for me, for example, I'm a very talkative kid. So I would like, 
if some, the teacher sub came up to me and said, just talk a little quieter or talk a little less, I would do that. I just don't like it when they, you know, yell at you and stuff. The best experience I've ever had with the sub, I forgot his name, but he was in my, um, it was my sophomore year. He was in my world history class. And he made some of the best jokes. They would make me laugh so much. You know, he was one of those chill subs, you know, he just kind of relaxed, gave us an assignment to do. And at the end of the day, he gave us his last joke that made us think. I forgot what it was, but it made everyone like, oh, man. And people, you know, were giggling, they were laughing and stuff like that. He will probably be, he's probably my favorite sub. If my dad were to sub here tomorrow, my only advice for him would be to just be respectful, because once you give respect in a high school, you get it back.